tubers. I want to show you my uh, ball type check valve, homemade. If you click this link down here, you'll find the original video from the guy I got my ideas about this from. I made a few modifications. The modifications aren't any real big deal. It's mostly just um, to get parts that were readily available because I couldn't find a lot of the stuff in his video. Now this is a three quarter inch pipe. This is a three quarter inch fitting necking down to a half inch fitting. Or maybe it was this here. This was three quarter going down to half inch here. I can't remember. It's been a while since I made these. Um, if you look down in there you'll notice the nail that I put in there to keep the ball from going through. That nail isn't necessary. You can eliminate that. Um, this was my first experimental one that I'd put together. Now what I got here for a, a seal are round rubber seals that I got from a seal kit that I bought at Harbor Freight. It's about a six seven dollar seal kit. There, I don't know if you can see very well or not but there's actually two rubber seals in there because that's what it took to make this marble seal in there. So the bag of marbles I got at the Dollar Tree is like, I don't know, 50 to 100 marbles in the bag for a buck. Really good price. And once you once you dump the marble in there, you can then put some glue around your sealer there, put it in, and the marble is going to stay in there. Even at this end here, this here next down small enough that the marble can't fall out, and that's why you don't need to put the nail in there anymore. So there it is. Uh, this seal cost this whole excuse me this whole uh, ball type check valve about two to three dollars a pop to make one. Which these ball type check valves are pretty damn expensive. Um, you know they're about fourteen dollars to get the factory made ones. So I didn't really want to spend that much. I didn't so there it is, your $3 ball type check valve. Uh, if you're gonna, I, I built this specifically to use with my ram pump. If you break up your lines in 100 foot sections, it's a lot easier to clean them out, move them around. And you get a little better lift too because it takes some of the back pressure off of the pump. Now you don't ever want to use a spring type check valve on a horizontal application because the valve in there on the spring will end up getting jammed because gravity pulls sideways on them and it's going to wear the metal in such a way that ultimately it's going to jam and it probably isn't even going to take very long. So the ball valve or the flap valve is what you want to stick with for horizontal applications. Only use spring type checks on vertical applications. And even this ball valve here is a really good type of valve to use on the ram pump itself. They're, they're cheap, they're easy to make, and if you can get a, a, a better source on bigger balls, then you can make bigger checks. And they work really well, they don't have a problem jamming, especially in horizontal applications. So there it is, there's your solution for the ram pump, $3 a pop right there. So the arrow here marks the direction of water flow, which that tells you that the rubber seal should be down in this end here, not up there. But you know, you could put rubber seals in both ends and the thing would be universal, and you could run water either direction and the thing would work. So there's your tip about this. If you want, spend a little more money, put the extra seals in the other end, and the thing will be universal in either direction and you don't have to mark direction. That was kind of cheap, so I just put the seals on one side. And in most cases, too, when you're hooking up your poly tube, you don't even need to put clamps on these. The poly tube will usually seal itself, or if you want to get a clamp, get one of these type of hose clamps because they're quick and easy to remove. They're a little cheaper than the uh, screw down type hose clamps. I really like these. You can get these at just about any automotive store. So there you go. There's your seal. There's your direction marker, or non-direction marker, depending on how you build them. Check valve, $3.